Hi, my name is John Wallace, and I'm the president at Azusa Pacific University. That's in Azusa, California. It's really a suburb of the greater Los Angeles area. And, you know, we're just in the shadow of Lincoln's birthday, right around the corner. I thought I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience in the first grade. I was given the assignment by my teacher to uh, pick a favorite president and write a paragraph. Remember the first grade assignment deal? Well, my birthday is on the 11th. This guy, Abraham Lincoln, was on the 12th. I knew that. So I just picked him because it was convenient. And, uh, and thus begin, from the first grade forward, kind of my infatuation with Lincoln. The more I learned about this great leader, the more I fell in love with him. And then, uh, you know, just kind of ironic, uh, Lincoln is the 16th president of the United States. And in the 108-year history of this university, I happen to be the 16th president as well. Well, uh, he has been an inspiration to me. I mean, in my whole life, I don't know that any of us could point to someone who is such a great, really, loser as Lincoln. I and mean, what, he loses most of the elections he's ever in and wins just a few. As a matter of fact, it, that first election that he wins for president in, uh, I think his inauguration is March 4th, 1860, he's actually elected by a little over 39% of the popular vote, the lowest uh, amount of popular votes for any president ever elected in the United States. Then people point to the next uh, election results, uh, you know, his inauguration in March of 65. Uh, and he's actually uh, elected by like 50% of the popular vote. But you got to remember the southern states are out of it. It's actually 700,000 votes less than 1960. The Civil War starts a month before he becomes president. It ends uh, five days before he dies. Uh, there are 600,000 lives lost. Uh, people would point to Lincoln as probably serving during the most difficult time of our nation's history. If you visit his memorial in D.C., which I do, his two great speeches are there on the walls. On one side is the Gettysburg Address and on the other his second inaugural. I happen to believe that his second inaugural captures what I believe is probably the finest speech ever given at an inauguration, maybe in all time, next to Kennedy's uh, uh, speech at his inauguration of any president uh, of the United States. But here's the words out of that uh, second inauguration. These 24 words that inspire me and I think should inspire you. With firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work we are in. So look, Lincoln's birthday is right around the corner. I don't know who you are or where you are, but let's just say you're a college student. Uh, finish what's in front of you. If you're a high school student looking at colleges, Finish what's in front of you. If you're a Christ follower and there's been something put on your plate that you need to pay attention to, finish what's there. There is some amazing stuff ahead, even in the difficulties of life. Push through and finish. I, I think those words from Lincoln uh, should inspire us all. Shalom. Have a great day.